Mike Parallax here to entertain you with the help of Jackson Brown and the river open for the righteous and the river open for the righteous and the river open for the righteous someday song called I am a patriot and I love my country because my country is all I know. I want to be like, run like the Ryan. Release from the cages, release from the rages, burning in the heart. And the river open for the righteous, and the river open for the righteous. And the river opens for the righteous someday. Still discovering songs from that guy that uh, <laughs> I had never heard before. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I am a patriot. Uh, Jackson Brown. Uh, it's been a while since we did one in the car. <laughs> that was going to be a I Heard It on NPR video. Uh, actually, I heard a couple of things recently on NPR. One of them was they are talking about the the oil... The oil the, opioid crisis and um, how uh, it's still a factor but th but it's going down statistically and I thought to myself well duh of course it's going down they don't want to blow their cover and by them by they I mean the uh, drug lo um, sorry doctors <laughs> the uh, pushers I mean uh, doctors <laughs> but uh, yeah they don't want to blow their cover. Drug dealing 101. Duh! <laughs> and the other thing that I heard on NPR was apparently uh, there's a uh, white banks versus black banks. Funny, I always thought it was just banks. <laughs> or just the, you know, the banking system. But apparently there are African American people taking their money out of established white banks. <laughs> and putting them into established black banks. When I heard that at PR, I thought, Jesus Christ, I hope the people that handle mine and everybody's 401k are as aware of this. <laughs> ah, sir, white banks versus black banks. Which begs the question, I wonder which one is most directly responsible for the housing crisis of 09. <laughs> Uh, most likely it's uh, probably the white banks. <laughs> um, if I was going to be racist, after all, look at the shirt I'm wearing. And when I was getting dressed this morning, I said, hmm, what can I wear to showcase to the world uh, myself as the racist that I am? So here you go. <laughs> that should cover it. I'm wearing this shirt, so I must be racist. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but anyways, uh, yeah, I gotta, gotta wonder which uh, of these banks, the white banks or the black banks, which ones are most directly responsible for the housing crisis of 09? And uh, I think it'd probably be the white banks because uh, they, they seem to be more likely uh, to loan money, <laughs> more generous to loan uh, money to risky uh, um, individuals. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, curse those white banks for having having uh, hope in their fellow human beings. Anyways, I just hope that the white banks, uh, the quote white banks, have learned their lessons of 09 and do not loan money to self-entitled deadbeats that feel that they should get reparations and they should not have to work for their keep. You know, if I was thinking of this and a form of modern day slavery came to mind. Yeah, a form of modern day slavery. 
overtaxation of employers and employees. There's your uh, modern day uh, slavery right there. <laughs> and if you have a business, big or small, and you were able to keep your private business status through all this political BS, I salute you. That is true patriotism. I worked all my adult life. And finally, I'm in a very real position where in the foreseen future, I have a real chance of owning my own little piece of the American dream. And I'll be damned if my government is going to tell me, well, that which you, which you worked your whole life for, well, we decided, we, um, well, we decide you must give that to someone who we decided uh, suffrage is more important than yours. Because, well, <laughs> Idiot, didn't you know human suffrage is a competitive sport? <laughs> Going to the leftist, human suffrage is a competitive sport, apparently, in our world today. And, and yeah, that's what they say, the leftists say, well, well, you know, true equality is a myth. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Didn't you know this? Are you stupid or something? Anyways, helping this person with their suffrage is more in tune with the less leftist agenda. <laughs> and everybody knows leftism is king. Or queen, if you prefer. <laughs> oh, God. I was listening to Jeremiah Jackson, or Jeremiah Jackson. I don't know if it's Jeremiah or Jeremiah Jackson. But anyways, 1984, is, uh, uh, he put out a one-hit wonder back then. Why don't you do what you do when you did what you did to me? Anyways, Jeremiah Jackson. <laughs> On that album, there's another song called Escape from the Planet of uh, Ant-Men. <laughs> Complete with a wow, wow, wow. monster talking at the beginning. And you get the feeling it was uh, old Jeremiah's attempt to recapture the magic that his brother obtained with the Thriller song. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Anyways, there are those that enjoy and find solace in cooking and... I would admit, I was one. I started meal preparation and cooking for myself when I was 13, but I decided it's just no longer worth my precious time on this earth. <laughs> oh. Walmart Deli will probably be making a fortune on me now. It's, yeah, I mean, I have, to, I have to cook, I have to keep cooking and meal preparation to a minimum. If I want to do this, have a YouTube channel, work for a living, and engage in more rewarding activities in life. <sighs> but yeah, I, I, uh, I'll be damned if some freaking government's going to tell me that I have to give what I worked for to someone else who they deemed their suffrage is more important than mine. <laughs> I didn't know human suffrage was a competitive sport. I guess the left can pretty much make anything they want a competitive sport, including human suffrage. <sighs> All right, well, I better end this one here. So, like Jackson Brown says, And the river opens for the righteous, And the river opens for the righteous, And the river opens for the righteous someday. Amen, Jackson Brown. Thank you for watching. <laughs>